Islam alaikum. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. I bear witness there is no God but Allah, who came to us in the persons of Master Far Muhammad. And I bear witness that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is indeed thine exalted Christ. And I furthermore indeed bear witness that the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is our divine reminder, leader, teacher, and guide. I greet you all in the nation, greeted words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum. That simply means peace be on to you. On behalf of Brother Albert Muhammad and the Let Us Make Man family, as always, we thank you for taking the time to read our posts, to watch our videos, to support our cause, our efforts in the plight of the black community. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time today, family, just to touch on this particular subject, subtitled, When White People Unite. We were taught by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad to study white people. White people make no excuses for their mistakes. This is what the most honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us. We just witnessed the power of unity that they exhibited when they want to make change. Rather we agree with the change or we don't agree with the change, rather they agree with the change or they disagree with the change. The fact of the matter is they brought they came together in unity. This is a learning stage for us as a people. The power of unity. We talk unity on a continuous basis, but we struggle to, to actually exhibit that which we talk about. We just saw what it, what it was like or what it took for these people to stand up and show the world that when they want to make a change, they make a change. They came up out of the, the sticks, the mountains, the woods from up on the, up on the sewages and they came together collectively and made a statement and they wind up getting exactly what they wanted in terms of, uh, the newly elected president of the United States of America. This is the power of white people when they come together and they say, this is what we want to do and this is what we want to take place. We're not surprised at all about this because we are taught that unity is strength and power. So if we would take this that we, we have the opportunity and exercise it in the right manner to unify, then we as a people can accomplish whatever goals we set forth. Despite whatever goals, despite our differences in terms of the goals that we're reaching for. If we could put aside and, and you can rest assured in, in, their, in their quest to accomplish the goal that they accomplished, there were mass disagreements, but we didn't know nothing about it. We don't hear about it. When the last time you heard David Bowie or um, some of their famous actors go live on talk shows and talk about their dissatisfaction with one another? Huh? When the last time you seen one of their great actors or their great comedians come out in public and just disrespect one another? I can't recall. But when it's time for them to make a change and make a statement, rather they agree with each other or disagree with each other, they come together. They show that to the world. When you take states that were considered democratical states for countless years and then you take these states in less than 24 hours they become supporters of the quote unquote Republican Party 
Now, many of our people was disheartened and saddened by the that by what transpired. However, the truth and the reality is this could have been or this could be a great thing for us. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad in the last Final Call newspaper printed from Message to the Black Man talks about separation. Right? Now, watch this. The talking is done. You will see less videos coming from us because the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan told us we done talked enough. We done preached enough. Now it's time to get busy and these crackers are going to show you without a shadow of a doubt. They don't have no compassion, no mercy, and they feel that they're in complete control of the world right now. Right? Almost every member that's associated with the current president or the current elected president is criminals. All of them. All of them. And this is why they stick together so stern. Right? To stay on top of their criminal empire. So to my, to my people, blacks first in America, this is the golden opportunity that we've been waiting for, that we need to seize. Separation. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad told America, we, we feel that you should give us 25 states in this union. Right? And give us what we need. I'm part of me. Let, let me, let me rephrase that. He asked for exact, an exact, and a certain amount of states and over 25 years of support that we get up on our own. Right? He never said nothing about going back to Africa. He never said nothing about going back to Africa because we're not from Africa. Our blood, sweat, and tears participated in the growth and development of this great country that they claim they want to make great again. Though we know they want to make pure white. And that's why all you all those you see that he's calling on to join on to his team is of the pure white, i.e. Caucasian race. Haters. Right? We over 22 million strong in America now. And we spend over five trillion dollars a year. Give or take in corporate America. Right? We have more than enough power amongst our own to separate and do for self. Thank you, Brother Michael, because the land that we need must be full of minerals. Absolutely, dear brother. Must be full of minerals that we can utilize in order to do for self. We don't need to be begging the current president or the newly elected president for anything. Right? They call themselves putting together a 10 point plan for the black community. I'm not sure if my people are aware of that or not. Already, we've been singled out. Right? And all these crackers that sit on the, in, in these seats of political office, that's just what they are crackers. They have no love or compassion for us. And it's time. The, the begging days is over now. We need to seize the opportunity to separate and do for self. They're going to cut all their special programs, all their aids, as much as possible to cripple us, to hurt our people, those who are not strong enough. And that's why it, 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 go, it falls back on you, black man. The strength. We know we have a mass amount or a great percent of our people that totally disagree with the idea of separation. They got to get dealt with in the best manner. May Allah choose that manner of how he will deal with our traitors that's amongst us. See? When these white people came together, 
They wanted, they, they wanted to make a statement. They didn't give a damn how smart or how dumb the uh, newly elected president is or how educated he is in terms of political science. All they wanted to do is show their power in unity. You follow me? So they made sure they came out. But the key is understanding the process of this system that we dealing with. Right? How is it that the electoral votes are more important than popular votes? If there's only 570 electoral votes, how does that dominate the popular vote? Just generally speaking. Because in my humble opinion, neither one of them is fit to represent us. We have a representative in our midst. And I'm speaking none other than the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. A man who has proved that he's on our side. Has never let us down. Has never took deals and compromised the truth that he presents to us. Now rather you accept Farrakhan or you don't. That's a reality. That I can bear witness to over the last 25 years and my sojourn in the nation of Islam. Right. So white people are so full of hate and bigotry. Right. That they can no longer hide it as good as they used to back in the day. Now they blunt with it straight out with it. How many how long how how long are we going to go along walking down the street being physically assaulted by some ignorant tobacco chewing white boy with no education, but because he think he's white, he could put his hand on black men and women and we don't do nothing. You can't appeal to this government no more. They don't hear your appeals. They only know war and bloodshed. We are taught to fight with those who fight with us. We are not the instigators, but we are taught and trained to back and protect our own. Right? So, I sat back and analyzed this whole situation for approximately two weeks and studied what was going on and what is going on. So we say, as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is traveling right now, as I'm speaking to you today, he's traveling right now, over 80 years old. He's still fighting for our liberation. How in the hell could we not back Farrakhan, man? Ain't a preacher in America that's fighting for our liberation like Farrakhan. As I'm speaking to you right now, the minister is speaking to black, Leadership doing his best. He's going to his grave doing his best to bring us together under one umbrella. Freedom, justice, and equality. Don't nobody give a damn no more about your theologies and your ideologies and your schools of thought. All this madness that we put out on Facebook, Twitter. Don't nobody care nothing about that. We're talking about what we're going to do over the next generation or two. What's going to happen to my baby? What's going to happen to your grandchildren? Are you going to leave them in the hand of these crackers generation after generation after generation? Or are you going to stand up and fight for your own and die like a damn soldier if you have to? If you have to. Because they're willing to do it. White people are so armed and so dangerous and so mentally unstable. They're the greatest threat to American liberty, white America. I'm not a racist. Never has been, never have been, never will be. I'm a truth bearer. I speak truth. This is what we bring, pure truth. The reality is, family, as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, as I stated, he's traveling right now, speaking to black leadership, that we come together under one umbrella, freedom, justice, and equality. To protect our future generations. It ain't about me. It ain't about you. It's about the babies that we're bringing into this world. It's about the grandchildren that we're watching coming into this world. We need to do something. Separation is our only option. Hands down. There's no other options. We need to stop playing. 
I'm not here on this Facebook live program trying to get your attention. I, I'm all right in that area. I don't need the extra attention in that sense. I feel almighty God Allah is putting me on a mission to help my leader, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. We, we cannot continue to take these white people lightly. They prove beyond a shadow of a doubt the power of white unity will get them what they want. So if the power of white unity can get them what they want, then I know damn well the power of black unity. With black unity, we can exceed our goals. Not just for our selfishness or our independent individual organizations. Alright, the duty of a civilized person is to civilize the human families of the planet Earth. You'll find that in the back of the Final Call newspaper if you take and read the Final Call newspaper. To civilize the civil, to civilize the human family of the planet Earth, not just the black family. So with that alone, exclude us from being racist. Right? So we don't have time to sit here and bicker about madness like that. Look at what's happening around us. Right. Since our forefathers or those that was brought over here in slaves tilled the land and helped America to become the country that she is today. She owed it to us that we separate in this land. As our student minister, brother Ishmael said, not in Africa. We love our African brothers and sisters. We're going to do it here in the land that we helped them build. Remember the Europeans that came here to the Statue of Liberty, they were all immigrant, immigrants and criminals when they defected. When they defected from Europe and all those countries over there, they are all immigrant criminals. France, Europe, wherever they from, Italy, all of those people that came here and found a home for themselves. We were brought here and, our, and we were raised up in this society that we're in. So America owed it to us, right? So as we watch what's going on us, we can't get caught up in Donald Trump. We can't get caught up in that. That was divinely planned by almighty God Allah. The honorable minister Louis Farrakhan called that one. I knew it was gonna happen. But it had to happen that we take and seize the opportunity and separate and do for self. And all of those amongst our people who wants to stay with our open enemy, then let them die in their own iniquity. But we can't allow them to continuously come before us speaking so um, politically correct. And so, you know, so how you know how we talk. You know how we go on talk shows and radio shows and all this other stuff because it brings us attention and we can look back at our buddies. Did I do good? Did it come out all right? See, we got to run them people from amongst us. Why did Muhammad and anybody, why did Muhammad run the devil from amongst them? If you know the lessons, you have an idea of what I'm talking about. Right? So what we wanted to really address in this particular session is white people show, even their, in their most ignorant state, that unity alone will get them what they want. They got what they want, the elected president that they got. And all this marching now and trying to call back all this other stuff, that's not our mission. Let them do them. Stay away from that. We need to work on separation. Believe me, before I end this session, let me just say this to you, family. There was a time when black people had their own before integration. We were educating our own. We were feeding our own. We were clothing our own. We were providing for our own. Don't sit here and tell me we can't do that today in modern times with modern technology. Right? Rosewood. Cities and states across the country where we had our own. Right? So since we had our own then, then know for surety we can revisit that and accomplish that same goal with greater magnitude. 
I know we got school teachers in the black community. We got doctors in the black communities. We got lawyers in the black community. If we spend over five trillion, why not we pull our resources to pay our people to teach our children? And why not we pay our people to take care of our own? We don't need white people to provide us. Donald Trump would not be the great white hope for black America no more. That's over with. Y'all didn't see it coming. They created a... Um, Barack Obama, when they created Barack Obama over the last eight years, black people caught hell. This was all purposely designed so you could return to the hope and the vision of having that, the great white hope come in and say, I'm going to save you from police brutality. No, we don't need them to save us from police brutality. We can save ourselves. We know just what to do with the road police officers out there, but we got to run them from up out of our community. The only way to do that is unity and separation. We can build our own police force in our communities. We can run the drug dealers and all the criminals in our community from amongst us, even if we have to take the head of the devils as we do it. This is serious business. So with that being said, family, I didn't want to take too much of your time. And I thank you so much for really taking a few moments with your brother just to hear a few words that we wanted to share. You know, we wanted to let from our perspective, let it be known how white people, when they show that they fed up and they come together. And they make changes. Rather, it's good. They don't care. Nothing. They don't care. Most of them, they spit tobacco, teeth for yellow. They, they have no morals. They, they, not, they don't care about nothing. That. All they did was made it to the polls. Well, some saying, well, blacks didn't vote. Vote for what? And vote for who? For what? For what purpose? If you have two million votes and only 570 electoral votes will get you in, what's the sense of popular votes? Doesn't make sense to me. Is somebody on this that can make sense of that to me? I'm listening. I repeat. You got 570 electoral votes and over 80 million or, or 2 million more popular votes than the other. But the other win with 570 electoral votes. What's the sense? What, what does popular? It doesn't make sense. Can we not understand what we're going through and what we're dealing with? Separation. Is our only option, family. And do for self. Otherwise, rest assured, the party has just begun. They've already put in petitions and signed bills to stop the current president from doing anything up until the transition take place. Show you how these white, but they're not that smart, family. White people have seven alpha, seven alpha. Seven ounces of impure grafted brain. The original man has seven and a half ounces of pure brain. Pure. A half ounce more and plus it's pure, not grafted. There's no way on earth they are more intelligent than we are. They're more deceptive and deceitful and conniving. That's what they specialize in. Right? It's what they do. So with that being said, we don't done enough for talking. We don't done enough for talking. These videos you see us doing on Let Us Make Man will become rare soon, very rare, as time progress. Because now what we need to do is go to work. Wherever you at, whatever city you at, and if you come across the elite or the few blacks who doesn't Feel what you don't force and don't try to force nothing on them. Just keep it moving. Because sooner or later, they'll be ran from amongst us. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to come before you, family, and share a few words with you on behalf of the life giving teachers of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, as is taught today by the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, sending out special prayers to our minister as he travels right now, as you and I speak. That he, you know, he gets to where he got to get and home safely as he continue work hard on his mission over 80 years old. I don't want to hear no believer in the nation of Islam tell me they tired. Or they're done. I, 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 I couldn't listen to that. It's just wasted energy because our leader is still working. Still working. Still on his job. 
General order number five. Quit my post only when properly relieved, sir. So until then, we forever on our post. Thank you for listening. I leave you as I, as I, I leave you as I came before you. In the nation, greet the words of peace. I sound like a family.